Hi, this is Alan, and welcome to Alan's Lego World. And up for review today is the uh, Lego Marvel, the Milano spaceship from the first movie, Guardians of the Galaxy. Set number 76286. This contains 2,090 pieces and retails for $180. And overall looks, they designed it very well. They kept this ship as faithful as possible to the movie. In all aspects, they give you four and a half minifigures. You need the Star Lord, Gamora, Drax, Rocket, and the Pot of Groot. So, and they give you all the cool weapons here. You get a cool stand. Overall, I like how this turned out. And this because there's a very few stickers in the set. It has like six stickers throughout the whole build. And the two here on top are two of the six stickers there in the set. So let's go over this in greater detail. Alright, and this is the stand that's including the set. It's Technic built. And some Technic parts in here. And just like all the stands are black, and this one has a blue part here to indicate where to put the ship. And it's at this angle here. Because the ship is leaning forward. And what I like about the Marvel Big Ships, like this one here, and the other two Guardians of the Galaxy ships, plus the Avengers Quinjet, say they all come to stand. Makes it easy for you to post these ships. For us, everyone has their own preference how they want to display their set, but I like the fact Lego gives you a stand. I wish they do this with uh, Star Wars sets, like at least some of them anyway. Give it a stand. That'd be cool. So, on that note, I like to start going over the ship in detail. Alright, we'll start by going over the interior of the ship. Start by Moving, moving the top here. This whole thing comes off like this. You see that the interior is very well detailed. You have the cock, you the front cock right here. You have right there, the bridge. That's where uh, apparently where the pilot sits or the captain sits. You got two other seats where they fly the ship. Then you got apparently a map where they're going they have a little screen out here and these are and, and here here and here is where three of the stickers are it's probably the six stickers that come in the set and throughout this interior they have hooks where the characters can put the weapons during during flight and when they're sitting in the cockpit and over here we have a screen with a cassette tape. They're playing the hits. The nice Star Wars favorite songs, Bound 1, Bound 2. He likes to have semi soul, funk, and, and overall and overall 70s beats. So you'll see him dancing quite a few of them. And show you here, they have enough jumpers where the figures can stand. Oh, there's another. Orange brown seat right there by the hooks, which is right there. That seats four. Then obviously this part where you put the pile of groots. So I'll show you the bed right there. That's where somebody can lay down. Then there's a back window. Now I'll show you where all the Weapons go over the characters while they're sitting down in the ship. All right. Now I see all the characters inside the ship. And where the weapons go. So Rocket's weapon goes there. Mother Sword goes there. Drax's knife's going right here. There's Mother Sword and hang on a real piece. And there's Star Lord's, Star Lord's pistols right there. So this is how it goes during a flight. Now, the instructions is where a rocket sits or stands because he's got small as his legs will bend. Let's see if 
This thing will close by fact rocket is in that part of the cockpit. All right, moment of truth. Does this part close all the way? Hey, it does. It works beautifully. So I like that interior worked out. They may be a little bit roomy. So it makes it worth the play value of this. Now let's go over the rest of the ship. All right, so before I put the top back on, it is held together by these two studs right here, which are pins, put in uh, another direction. Now put this top back on. Let's show you the rest. Okay, fits perfectly. Then these studs right here go down. All right. So now let's go rest the ship. The ship has uh, got a very huge wingspan here. So I like that they did the colors of the. You got the blue and the orange, they come together very well. Got all the wings, lots of blue and orange and grays. Like how they did the wings, the wings spread by some round pieces and taking elements. Like, right for that wing. How they use like dragon legs and stuff, and that's the tear, yes, that's that great part of showing, but you no, know, just have to overlook it. Then you got more blue right here, which are printed by this angle here. There's some snap, not snap breaks here being used to hold these together. Like these, and these right here are held by snap bricks. You can still see a little bit of the different colors, but you know what? If you're picky, you go ahead and change colors when you want, but you know, sometimes it's best to just overlook the colors. Because it is what it is, the Lego does their best. And these are all the exhaust and vent ports here. They sign uh, orange and the uh, light blue transparent colors. And these do bend a little bit, so be careful. As in this part right here, part of the exhaust is mounted with three shovels. Right here, I like how they did that. And more of the back is done this this way here. And then one thing about this set though, is a lot of repetitive building here. It has 23 stages here. A lot of it's repetitive build. Because the way they designed this, the way the ship is designed itself, yeah, so they still have a sticker over there. They got a sticker here. Oh, there's one more place where there is a sticker. There's one more place. Let me lift this up without dropping it. And right here, there's a sticker right here on the bottom here where the dark red is. So there's only six stickers that come in the set out of the 2090 pieces. Which is cool. It needs to minimize my stickers that went into the set. Because so that cassette you seen earlier, that's a print. A very cool print. So, I mean, I have the repair bills. I, I take two heads, but we'll one side reverse. Uh, the primary side gets put on the, to the set, to the vehicle versus the other side later. That was to be with the process, because this set has two books. Oh, yeah, two books. Nice and thick, too. So, first book is of 288 pages. And the other book consists of 140 pages. And, and the book, too, includes the parts list. This is one book that's be 428 pages thick. And this is, uh, consists of 23 stages. And has in the set... Seven and thirty-seven steps, which the last step is putting the top onto the onto the ship, which covers the interior. And for it shows you where put the pot of room and all the weapons, as you've seen already. So, I mean, it. This is a very complex build here, but I am surprised. 
And this was a 12 plus set. I'm sorry they didn't pass it up as 18 plus set because it's easy could have been an 18 plus set considering how complex this was the build. Easily. Yes, and now you can see the bed right there from the this side here. Right there. So I'll turn around so you can look one more time before I start discussing the minifigures and tell for most part, all similar builds right here, except you get the this part and this part and this part here. You print a second on this side if you want to go 2x. But I believe this uh, this one they build first, but this one first, that one second. The one thing about building 2x going off the directions is it saves you time. If you're tight on time, I know it might take away some of the enjoyment bone Lego, but if it, but when it gets to be a repetitive build, it can get boring after a while and tedious, so that's how I counter it by building 2x. So let's go over the minifigures. All right, start with Starla right there. And it, it only has the same face as for all the, all the Guardians of the Galaxy sets. You got Gamora right there, which you have the Nice spike with the purple hair going down. And they have the green part of the show showing, showing her chest. And of course, it doesn't, it's close, it's close match to the face. So look at the little the best they can. You got Drax right here. You got Rocket. He's got the short legs because he's a small creature, but he's a minifigure, so they do the best they can. This weapon, and of course, you got the Pi Groot. Right there, this is when they're starting to grow the new Groot after the battle, which Groot sacrificed himself to save the crew when the ship itself was blowing up. So, and then, when they're dressed, there's their, their, their uniforms towards the end of the movie, the first Guardians of the Galaxy. If you haven't seen the movie, I advise you to see the movie. I mean, I was watching the movie. I was building part of the set, you know, for inspiration, for source material. And I thought it was appropriate to watch the Guardians of the Galaxy while I'm building a ship from the Guardians of the Galaxy. And then there are alternate faces to this set here. So only Star Lord and Gamora have alternate faces in this. They show their serious mode, their battle mode, wave around calling mode. Yeah, it's not, not sure the backs of these two. They have different backs. They're printed differently. So they yeah, have some similarities in the front, but differences in the back. Okay, and as for Drax and Rocket, Rocket's got a very well designed print. Apart from his uniform and back, and Drax is well designed, oh, very nice arm prints. Of the tattoos he's got on his body. Apparently the tattoo right there might, might deceive his family tree. I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. Please. So. And then the Pagu has no, nothing in the back. So let's talk about pricing and my final thoughts. All right, so this retails for $180 US. But I paid uh, $162 for this in my local Barnes & Noble, so I saved 10% of my membership. And $100 retail for this is a fair price for what you get here. You get a big ship here in very little detail. And long ship looks like it's two feet longer, perhaps an inch more or less, give or take. But you're going to need a, a, a big shell, a white shell like the Shelf size to display this. High ounces is fair price, you know. I mean, you can get a discount, or you have enough insider points, you get the same money, use your insider points to get it, or you for double points. But if you want to buy it right away, you know, $100 is a fair price for this. And this is the 12 plus, as I said, this is 12 plus. I'm surprised, they, I'm surprised they didn't make this 18 plus. As I said earlier. But this is a complex build here. 
But for me, it was easy to build because my time saving methods. So, you like the colors and everything, how they designed this and kept this faithful to the movie. And, and they had the right characters to go with this. So I'm glad they included all, all the characters from the first movie into the set. I'm glad they did it. The ones got the glasses right there that was in the paper bag. I mean, that, yeah, sure, the famous YouTubers are getting their review sets from Lego with the paper bags. And so I do the most of get paper bags by now, but yeah, we're still getting plastic bags for our stuff. And the glass came in a paper in a paper bag. And that's still plastic. I mean, and when is Lego going to be giving us paper bags? I guess a long time can tell. They should be doing it already. If they claim they want to save the environment or stuff, they should be giving us paper bags. Yeah, they're only giving the paper bags to the review sets that the famous Lego pe Lego the famous Lego reviewers get. So, but I am a independent reviewer. I'm not sponsored by anybody, so. I buy all this stuff, I pay, I, I buy all stuff, I pay full price, so I finally save money on this. So, overall, I like how this stuff is designed, got the wings spaced out perfectly with this. Got the engines and exhaust well designed put together. They took it easy on the stickers, which is a good thing. I'm glad that window piece is the whole print, not a sticker. They did interior, interior very well. So it's a big improvement from the last guns from the new guns galaxy ship, which I like this is like a couple seats out there, there wasn't much to it. So on that note, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel so you can view more content in the future and I can bring you more content. And have a great day.